gentlemen, Dame Gaspadai, meine Damen und Herren, willkommen. Welcome to the main event of the evening, presented by Sauerland Event and Don King Productions in association with the Kentaro Group. This is it, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA. Heavyweight Championship of the World. Das ist die Boxweltmeisterschaft im Schwergewicht, zwölf Runden. FBA President Willibald Palatine, WBA President Gilberto Mendoza, WBA Supervisor de España Bartolome Tarabla. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout will be from Italy, Pierluigi Popi, from Panama, Guillermo Perez, and from Sweden, Mikael Hook, and inside the ring, the man in charge of the action at the bell, referee from Puerto Rico, Luis Pabon. And now, for the sold out thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, from Zurich, Switzerland, uh, let's get it. Fighting out of the red corner, De Rotaeca. Wearing red, official weight, 97.2 kilos. This Olympic medalist has a professional record consisting of 53 fights, 42 victories, including 27 knockouts with five world titles. From Atlanta, Georgia, USA, the challenger, the herausforderer, Funkmaliga Weltmeister, five-time world champion, former undisputed cruiserweight, and four-time heavyweight champion of the world, the legend, the legenda, the warrior, Evander Realde. In the Blauen Ecke, the blue corner, wearing blue, official weight, 141 kilos. Professional record, 51 fights. 49 victories, including 34 knockouts. From St. Petersburg, Russia, the Zweimaliga Weltmeister im Schwergewicht, the reigning, defending, two-time WBA heavyweight champion of the world from Russia with love, the Russian giant. Damir Gasparai, Nikolai, Nico, the Well, the crowd likes Valuev, but they love Evander Holofield, okay, guys, Al. I give you the Fascinating room. and enthusiastic we'll reaction. 18 years since Evander Holyfield first won the heavyweight title, and here he is again. And now you picked it up. We should mention Tommy Brooks back in his corner. With the belt. Had been away for a while. Brooks has trained Mike Tyson, many others. But back when Holyfield was with Duba Boxing, now he's got a familiar face back with him. He's trained, changed trainers rapidly, though, throughout his career. Valuev coming forward. Watch that jab and see if Evander could get around it. That's a key. Look how long it is. Actually, the reach is only seven inch difference, but that's plenty, Al. Every time you see Valuev fight, and we mentioned, you know, four decisions in his last four fights, not as if he walks in and knocks people out, but the sheer size in the ring of him is just daunting. Yeah, how do you dissuade him? Evander's got to be busy. He's got to let his hands go and win enough rounds. And you mentioned, and already we see evidence of it, Valuev is not a fighter who presses the the pace a lot so in a way he gives Holyfield a chance to set and figure out how he's going to attack this mountain. Good point and uh, absolutely not having to expend a lot of energy as the 46 year old. Now I know Evander's 
been in superb shape a lot. It's hard to question that typically for him. He's a marvel at 46. Look mm -hmm. at him. But he does fight in spurts. There's the hook by Holyfield. There's a punch that will land against Valuev. I think it's the Holyfield hook. But if he throws it with too much abandon, he leaves himself open to get hit with the counter right hand. So it's kind of a tricky deal for Holyfield in terms of really throwing that punch a lot. What do you think Valuev is waiting for, Al? I don't know. The jab of Valuev should be something he uses very much in this fight. Uh, it, it, Holyfield can be hit with that punch. Valuev tries to throw, him, throw that right hand to the body and then shoves Holyfield back. But Valuev, very awkward. Two minutes into this fight, uh, hasn't landed much of well, anything. We, we haven't seen many punches thrown, period, yet in this fight. I mean, almost nothing. Holyfield, I don't know if he's thrown more than two punches. And Valuev, not too many more. Overhand a, right by Holyfield. Yeah, that landed. Now he's inside, missing. Valuev tries to counter with the right, but he was very slow with it. And even the 46-year-old could get out of the way. And Evander's been hard to miss lately, Al. Yeah, yeah they, they defensive. Can, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, Nick. Defensive liabilities have come more to the forefront in the last couple of years for Evander Holyfield, that's for sure. And uh, as you said, Valuev very slow with that right hand. So just by nature of a couple of punches that Holyfield has landed, he might have won himself the first round by default. Boy, does he need him. Valuev just trying to dial in and figure out Evander. He gets hit with a counter left hand. And I agree with you, Al. That was Evander Holyfield's round. Well, they say Willie Pep won, won a couple of rounds by throwing no punches. <laughs> Evander Holyfield won that one by throwing about six. <laughs> there you go. You don't normally have that much give and take conversation in the Yeah, corner. I'm amazed that the fighter Nikolai Valuev commenting back to his trainer. Yeah, that was that was a virtual discussion there. He's in the middle of the ring and towering over everybody. Look at this sellout house in Zurich, Switzerland. Vander Holyfield, four-time heavyweight champion, trying to become the oldest man to win that title. George Foreman did it at age 45. The 46-year-old arguably took that first round on our cards anyway. Nick Charles with Al Bernstein. This main event from Zurich, Switzerland, Evander Holyfield, the challenger, 14-month layoff. We thought he was finished 14 months ago, but nobody can tell Evander that except <laughs> himself. That's well put. You know, the uppercut for Valuev is probably going to be the most important punch in this fight, I believe, because and he almost Holyfield, tried to throw it. Yeah, there. Holyfield tends to bend in. We saw how effective that was in the clips we saw of his fight against Owen Beck and also Monty Barrett. And I thought, I think for Holyfield, the key is getting around Valuev's jab. But as you said, Al, he's not throwing it. Exactly. That that could be a punch also, in addition to that uppercut that would, would be uh, difficult for Holyfield, but not much happening from Valuev in that regard. Well, you would think that the champion wouldn't just be following around like this and not even really cutting the ring off and not throwing any shots. He's going to lose his title this way. Uh, I would uh, expect him to pump up the volume offensively. Yeah, and you have a 46-year-old man in front of you who has had uh, yeah. some issues in, in recent fights. There's that uppercut that Valuev has tried. So you would think you'd want to pressure him and make him fight, make him fight. the full three minutes. 